untitled William W. Shakespeare. It follows a madrigal. I'm picturing two people lying under a tree looking up. A young man whistles to match his voice to that of the bird song. Talks about being under the greenwood tree and if there's a special meaning to that uh, tree, I don't know it. There is a familiarity between these two. Are they friends, lovers? It doesn't say, but it seems like a flirtation. I feel like this is a young man, not old, lying and whistling in such a happy-go-lucky manner. The come hither, come hither, come hither has a lilt and rhythm of a carefree bird song. And there seems to be nothing to fear, but a slight nod to possible problems on the horizon. I'm curious that it says ambition shun rather than shun ambition. What is the barrier? Is it simply the nature of the young man, like the bird, to be content with what is at hand? It's a picturesque scene with little to worry about except winter is coming. It is untitled, but it follows a madrigal, so I'm thinking it's meant to be in, in the manner of a little bird song. It's a lovely scene. The carefree nature of the whistling young man. Is he a bit too carefree? Under the greenwood tree, who loves to lie with me and turn his merry note unto the sweet bird's throat? Come hither, come hither, come hither. Here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather. Who doth ambition shun and loves to live in the sun? Seeking the food he eats, and pleased with what he gets. Come hither, come hither, come hither. Here shall he see no enemy, but winter and rough weather.